Hey guys, in this video we are going to be looking at some different application problems for Pythagorean theorem. So we'll jump right in with our first example. Peter left his house and ran four miles east and then three miles north. He then took the diagonal path back home. How many total miles did he run? So a great strategy for any time we are working with an application problem is to draw a picture. So Peter left his house. So we'll say Peter's house is here. We'll call that H. He left his house and ran four miles east. So he went east, four miles, and then he went three miles north. That would be this direction, three miles north. And then he ran the diagonal path back home. And how far was that distance is what we're trying to figure out. So here's your right triangle. So we're going to set up Pythagorean theorem to solve. So that would be three squared plus four squared equals c squared or you could use x if you wanted to so we'll square both numbers that would get 3 squared is 9 4 squared is 16 equals c squared 9 plus 16 is 25 and then our final step always in pythagorean theorem is to take the square root of both sides of the equation so we get c equals 5 we're not quite finished with this problem yet because there's a second part of this question that says how much shorter was the diagonal path than the path that went east and north so the east north path that was the path that went four plus three so that was seven miles and then the diagonal path was five miles so we're trying to find the difference between those two distances to find the how, how much shorter the diagonal path was so we would do seven minus five which is two miles shorter. Okay, our next question is, David needs to place caution tape in the shape of an X across a broken entrance door to his barn. If the dimensions of the door are four feet by 10 feet, how many feet of caution tape are needed? So let's go ahead and label, this is our barn door, and this is gonna be the caution tape that needs to go across it. The dimensions of the door are a four by 10. 10. And in case you didn't recognize this, if I take the one piece of caution tape and draw the length and the width of the door, we have a right triangle, which is kind of cool. All right, so the height of the triangle would be 10 and the width would be 4, and we are trying to find the length of the hypotenuse. So we're going to set up Pythagorean theorem to solve for x. So we would do 10 squared plus four squared equals c squared, because we are solving for the hypotenuse. 10 squared is 100, plus four squared is 16, equals c squared. We add those together, and then we finally take the square root of both sides, and we get the length of that diagonal is going to be approximately 10.8, and that was feet. So one piece of caution tape is 10.8 feet. How many pieces of caution tape does he need? He needs one for this diagonal and one for this diagonal. So we would need to double our amount. So the caution tape would be 10.8 times two, which is going to give us 21.6 feet of caution tape. All right, last example is relating squares that are placed along the um, the legs and the hypotenuse of a right triangle and these squares represent the squares of the legs the area of the square represents the square of the leg okay so if i know the area of square one is 100 square inches that would tell me because i know that square the square number one is a square all the sides are congruent right so that means that the two sides are, all four sides, sorry, are 10 units. So that means the hypotenuse of this right triangle would be 10. And I'll know that the perimeter of square two is 32 inches, okay? But recall that perimeter is the distance around a square. So that means we would need to take the four congruent legs, we'd have to take the perimeter and divide by four, and that will give us the side. Okay, so we're going to do 32 divided by 4, that's going to equal 8, and that is going to be the side of square 2, which means that the area 
of square 2 is going to be 64. Okay, now we need to find the area of square 3. So if I know that 100 is the area of square 1, that means that is going to be the hypotenuse squared. And I know that 64 is the area of square 2. That means that this leg is going to be 8, but 64 is the, it would be this leg squared. Then I need to find the area of square 3. So I'm going to do the area of square 1, which is on the hypotenuse, and subtract the area of square 2. So we would do 100 minus 64, and that gives us 36. And that would be the area of square 3. Oh, that's not units, that's inches squared.